Hey everyone, this is Daryl of Big Bang Toys, Comics, and Games, and it's Wednesday! It's New Comic Day! I know you just said that you're, it's the weekly holiday. So anyway, welcome! New Comic Day! We're going to try to be quick. Not only new comics, but new comics, new shirts, new everything! First up, we got DC Comics. Here's our recommendations. Flash, uh, Season 0, number 1. If you're looking forward to the new Flash series, comes out next week. You want to check out this book. While you're doing that, you want to grab a Flash number one special edition right here in my hand. Boom! For only one dollar, it's a reprint of the Flash New Fifty Two number one. It's only for a dollar. If you're looking to try the Flash, maybe get the uh, you want to get some hype built up uh, for the new show that comes out next week. Get this book. It's cheap. It's affordable. They're gonna go fast. Great book, and really think it's going to be really cool for people. It's Gotham Academy number one. This is in Gotham City. It's a teen drama set at Go a prestigious Gotham City prep school, but the city has secrets. What are they? I believe this book, uh, teenagers, both boys and girls alike, will, will really like this book. Number, It's a number one. It's worth a shot, and uh, it's got some intrigue behind it. Anyway, uh, definitely check out this book if you're looking for a little different flavor in Gotham City. Uh, maybe a little younger flair, but still Batman universe. So check it out. Read that. Lobo number one. Now Colin Bunn, he writes Sinestro. He knows his villains. He's good. He knows what he's. He knows what's up. But we have the real Lobo, which I call DC Comics' Twilight version of Lobo. He probably, sh you know, he probably shines like diamonds and sunlight and all that. But I call him the, the Twilight version because it's like they streamlined him in the '90s. He's muscular. He smokes cigars. He rides a motorcycle. And now he's all skinny and stuff. Anyway, they're calling the Lobo that we know, if you've been reading comics at any point in the last, uh, or watched the Justice League cartoon or Superman, they're calling the Lobo that we know, Phobo. Fake Lobo. Anyway, they're going to address who's the real Lobo in the first two issues, and they are convinced it's the Twilight version. We'll see how long it lasts with the multiverse and a new crisis of On the Horizon for DC Comics. We'll see what happens, but I still think with Cullen Bunn's track record with villains, try the book. Godhead, number one. Uh, it's a New Gods Green Lantern Universe crossover. Highfather is convinced that if he can get a lantern ring from every core, he can finally take down Darkseid. As it says on the cover, he can bring Darkseid to his knees. AU should want to check out this book. If you drop the Green Lantern books, uh, I would say still try this one. If you're still reading Green Lantern, you definitely need to pick this up in case you missed it. Grab it. So for the kiddos, Tiny Titans Return to the Treehouse, number five. I like this book. Kids will like this book. Super awesome, just fun, innocent book. Check it out, read it. Return uh, to the Treehouse, Tiny Titans. Now we're talking independent comics. Sherlock Holmes versus Harry Houdini, the great detective versus the great uh, escape artist and magician. I don't know about you, but that's such an odd combo that it looks cool. I'm try the book. Men of Wrath, a Alabama hitman. His family is cursed, and he's taking one last job to break the curse from his family forever. It's written by Jason Aaron. Uh, you might know from Thor, Wolverine of the X-Men, uh, you know, other uh, other books. And there's some Image books, Southern books, if you know what I'm saying, uh, from Image. Check that out. Also, The Fade Out, number two, Brubaker. Ed Brubaker, crime, noir, enough said. Walking Dead number 132. Walking Dead is coming up, getting ready to come back on TV. Here's number 132. Jump on the train now. Here it is. That's Image Comics. It's independent books. Read them. In Marvel Universe Land, Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier number one. If you read Original Sin, he's the new man on the wall. He's the new guy in the Marvel Universe who does the things that no one else will do. He'll take care of problems that no one else will do. But it's also Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier. If you haven't seen the movie Captain America Winter Soldier, go check it out. Read this book, new number one, great joke in point, read it. Death of Wolverine number three. Somebody's got a hit out on Wolverine and wants him alive. Who is it? You gotta read this issue in number four to find out and, to, and we finally see the fate of Wolverine with something about the title, Death of Wolverine, tells us what's coming. Read it. All right, despite all the controversy, despite all the issues, I hear a lot of grumbling about this female Thor. Now for once, actually don't have a problem with it, why? Because the real Thor will be back in a year or two uh, when Avengers 2 comes out or the next Thor movie comes out. But either way, why is Thor unworthy to hold Mjolnir as hammer? And who is this new female? Uh, read Thor number 25 and then read this book, a new number one. It's a great time to jump on to this book and see what all the hype controversy is. 
But uh, Jason Aaron, uh, he's got a good track record. Try the book. Who is the female Thor? Read it. Guardians 3000. Dan Abnett, one half of the writing team DNA as they're dubbed, uh, he who really made put Guardians of the Galaxy on the map before the movie ever existed. Uh, he's writing the original Guardians team here, and it's Guardians 3000 number one. Great jumping on point. The original Guardians of the Galaxy lineup from years ago, brought back modern day. Check it out. It's Dan Abnett. It's got to be good, right? Captain America number 25. Who is the new Captain America? Well, if you've watched the news or anything, you know it's the Falcon. But how does the Falcon come to be Captain America? This is your chance to figure out how. Falcon Cap is what I call him. But anyway, before the new Captain America number one comes out, read this book and see how it all goes down. Captain America is a good read. Rick Remender, uh, it's, a, it's an underestimated and underappreciated run. Read the book. I may have missed a few comics, but please forgive me. We've got a couple other things I want to throw out. We've got Thor's Hammer, $14.99. You want to be Thor for Halloween? we got the hammer. Check it out. Look who's worthy. Me, of course. Right? Somehow I'm worthy to hold. No fear. We've got the Batman, Arkham Origins, Red Hood, Deathstroke, and Copperhead 3-pack. Deathstroke. Did you hear me say Deathstroke? Check this out, new three pack for $54.99. Brand new, hot off the presses on the shelves. Grab it. We've got a little, also, we've got a brand new little character no one's ever heard of Deadpool. Marvel Select figures. Pretty awesome figures. $24.99 right now. Ah, he's a little known character. You might, I mean, take a look at the toy, it's pretty cool. We have Big Hero 6 toys Honey Lemon, Fred, Wasabi No Ginger. I don't know. I like ginger. Ginger's good for you. Check these out, man. We got Big Hero 6 figures. You might say, hey, I saw that preview when I saw the last Marvel movie. Well, you probably did. Let's test him out. Ooh. Big Hero 6 figures all over the place. Remember. Pokemon plush! Check it out! We got Pokemon plush. Pokemon XY. How much is it? $18.99 for plush! Come get your plush. Pokemon! Uh, gotta catch them all, right? right? We got Harley Quinn. We got Green Arrow. We got all kinds of new stuff. Go to our website, buybigbang.com. Go to the shop tab in the navigational bar and look for new releases. Remember, read some comics and know that we got them. We've got Ninja Turtle Banks. Big Hero 6 toys. I can't hold it all. Christmas is coming. Now just when you thought you were going to escape this video, I didn't want to leave this video without mentioning these new horror series reaction figures. Check it out. Michael Myers. The Bride of Frankenstein. Freddy Krueger. What else do we got? Pinhead from Hellraiser. We got the Crow. Eric Draven. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we've got more here. How many more we have? We've got Wolfman. We've got the Phantom of the Opera. We've got Bella Lugosi's Dracula. If you're a big Universal Monster fan, you need to check out these new reaction figures. We've got the Goonies as well. We have Aliens. We have uh, the Firefly figures. You want to check out the new reaction figures. Anyway, I just want to mention these. Halloween's on the horizon. Grab this for that horror fan in your life. Do it today. Remember, we got them.